Okay, this is part two of the painting video. Got a paintbrush here with me. Let me get another one out. And I think I'm going to start on his hat because I really like his hat. Get some tissues here. Try to move my microphone out of the way here. So for his hat, I'm going to use this copper color. See what happens with that if I like it a lot. Hmm. Always check the paint or else it won't be pink. It'll just be some weird gloss. This is a really pretty color. I'm excited. Okie dokie. gonna start on his hat here. I think the best part of painting is that especially with projects like this you don't have to be great at painting. You just have to be able to use a paintbrush which is not hard at all. Anyone can do it. And you have full creative freedom. You can paint it whatever color you like. You can make it as vibrant or as muted in color as you want. There are no limits to what you can do to it. And you can personalize it to make it entirely your own. And this would be a great craft with children, especially like painting flower pots. That clay flower pots are cheap and they're easy to find. And Especially with kids, I know that they love decorating flower pots. My nephews do especially. You know, it would be a fun little project. And then you could plant a nice pretty flower in there. It would help you remind you of your grandchildren or your family members. And every time they come visit, they will see that plant and be so happy. So that is a great idea if you would like to paint some flower pots with your family sometimes. Yeah, we are just starting out with this copper color for his hat, and I think I will go in with some gold paint after this dries a little bit and add some detail to it. He's very shaky. He's not very level on this table. There's a hair on my gnome. Get that off of there. Repaint where I tore it off. Yeah, this is kind of like a Bob Ross video today. We're just painting a happy little garden gnome and make him really pretty. Almost made it all the way around. I'll tell you one thing though, this does make my arm tired.
little person's in here staring at me, which is <laughs> uncomfortable. I'm not staring. You're staring at me. You're encouraging me to talk about the weather. How about the weather? Well, it has weather? been oh, very... New we got. <laughs> been very, very foggy here lately. So if you live in the fight, you know that it looks like Silent Hill here lately. Like... Some kind of zombies are going to come out in our town. Uh, and it has rained a lot. An update on the center here. We still do not know when we are opening, but hopefully it will be pretty soon. Um, we have finished our tea room. A lot of you have seen that, seen pictures of it, and it's great in there. Um, if you've seen my reading videos, I'm always reading in one corner of the tea room. And it's very quiet and very serene in there, and it's just, it's a great atmosphere. Let's see, what else have we done here lately? We are repainting our kitchen. We're fixing it up and improving it, which is a lot of what we've been doing since we've been closed for COVID, is just making improvements around the center, trying to make things as nice and pretty as we possibly can. And as Preston mentioned, we now have new freezers so we can hold more frozen food, which is great for our HDM clients. It'll make things a lot easier on us as well. And I have to say that everyone here is doing pretty well. None of us have gotten sick. We're all working hard and wishing that the senior center will open soon. And we're praying that it will be. And we're just hoping that you all are safe and you're staying healthy and well and taking care of yourselves because that is very important. Drinking your water and taking your medicine, making sure you get all your fruit and, and veggies and making sure you're staying healthy in these trying times. And also making sure that you are wearing your masks because those are very important and they do more than we can know. I mean, they not only protect us, but they protect others from anything we may be able to give them, whether it be COVID or anything else. It's just a good thing. It's protective for everyone, even if we don't have anything to pass around. Um, so yeah. That's about it. It's been pretty quiet around here, here lately. We miss all our laughing and giggling people who like to have a good time and like to make sure that everyone else is having a good time. I like this color. It's a nice coppery color. Very pretty. I think my gnome will turn out looking very dapper and handsome. The only thing I do not like is the smell of the ceramic. It is not my favorite smell in the world. Oops. Here we go, his lovely little hat here. I'll need a few touchings up after I'm done because there's a few bigger spots. But I think he looks pretty good. I don't know which part to do next. Well, I think that might be all I accomplished today. We'll sit and let it dry for a little while and see how it looks after that. But yeah, if you can get hold of a flower pot or ceramics or anything really, you can paint it and personalize it and make it your own and just make it really pretty. So yeah. And it's very calming to do. Painting, for me especially, has just been a very fun activity. It doesn't take a lot of thinking and it's quiet. It's very therapeutic just painting on anything really. So yeah, thank you for joining me today and I will keep you updated on my gnome's process or his progress and we'll see how he turns out in the end and hopefully he'll be really dapper and handsome looking and he'll be sitting in my yard somewhere representing and being great. All right, bye everybody. <laughs>